been a, a very easy message to sell to the market because it's a joint venture that makes sense to people. Conceptually, the, the JV is, is backed by two parent companies, obviously TK being one, and uh, TK is really being promoted as, as the, the strength behind the joint venture from a, a HSEQ perspective, uh, from an industrial relations human resource perspective, and just the, the, the sheer scope of the company. And uh, the other parent company, Kotag from Rotterdam, is uh, a company that prides themselves over, I think it's 140 years of towage experience. It's been a, a very easy message to sell to the market because it's a joint venture that makes sense to people. As you know, with a lot of these tenders, it took uh, the solid two years to try to arrive at a, a closing point. Um, so in February, we were invited in uh, to, to have a chat with Shell. They said, you know, you guys have been successful, which was uh, obviously a surprise in some ways, but it, it was it was um, vindication of a lot of work that we put into it. The the reason I believe we, we secured that contract was that that marriage of uh, the innovation of the Rototug concept and also the I guess the security of of uh, TK being in operations in Port Hedland for such a, a number of or for a long long period of time. So they're combining uh, I guess an escort harbour tug function with a, an emergency response function to meet the safety case requirements of the facility. The tug's a 100 ton boiler pool both ahead and astern and uh, it's 42 metres in length. The estimations for GRT is around about uh, 1,050. I guess one of the key features is um, essentially the ability to be able to accommodate 85 evacuees on short notice to, to obviously meet the safety case requirements. So they're, they're the key characteristics of the vessel. These tugs are called ISVs, infield support vessels, which is becoming a more common term in the uh, FSO, FSIU, um, FLNG space. And uh, that that's the type of work that uh, we'll be tendering on in the future. The logical extension of what we're doing here is, is to focus regionally and spread from there. So some of the markets we're looking at um, include uh, the, the Joint Development Petroleum Area, which is, uh, I guess, known in Australia as, as East Timor and, and Australia, and uh, Malaysia, and uh, obviously a lot of the um, projects surrounding in Papua New Guinea and, and the Northwest. So, yeah, we, we anticipate there's, there's close to 14 FLNGs in, in feed stage uh, or approaching feed stage so it's just a matter of how things progress in that space.